Hi, my name is Audrey Thomas, founder of Organize Audrey, and today's productivity pointer has to do with the task feature within Microsoft Outlook. When I ask people why they're not using the task feature, they will often tell me it has to do with their desire to use flags. And they tell me that when they flag an email, it automatically adds it to the task feature in the right hand to do bar. And when they try to delete it out of there, it automatically deletes it in the inbox. So they're really, basically, they're not playing nicely together. So I want to teach you how to turn on a special filter that will do away with that so that you can continue to set up tasks in the right-hand column and you can continue to flag your emails and they won't mess with each other. So watch this quick video of my screen. What you are looking at is a condensed version of my inbox. I do not have the reading pane turned on today for demonstration purposes, but you can see that I do have the flag column and I have the to-do bar column over here populated. If you don't have this area uh, populated, you do need to turn that on and it's real easy to do so. You want to click on the word view up here along the top and then you'll scroll over here to this area here to do bar and you can click on calendar and task and they populate right here. You might also get some of your future appointments showing here which you can just click and drag shut right there. Okay, so here's the issue. Some of you like to click on to an email as a follow-up notification for yourself, but when you do that, it's jumping over here to, right here, it just added it, down here to your task. And you don't want it there, and so you're deleting it there, but then it sometimes deletes it in your inbox, and it's just this horrible catch-22. And so what we're going to do is set up a filter to allow you to continue flagging things if you want to, and then it does not interfere with the task list over here. In in order to turn this filter on, we're going to hover in this area right here uh, and you're going to right click here and you're going to see these options and you're going to click on view settings. And then you're going to click on the box that says filter and you're going to click on the tab that says advanced. And when you do that, don't worry about this list here, we're going to deal with these three boxes right here. So you click on this first box and you want to type the phrase message class helps if you spell it correctly. Tab over and it will automatically put the word contains in. It does have other options. We want to leave that alone though. You want it to say contains and then in this box you're going to type the word task and then you're going to click on this phrase add to list. It populates it up here. You're going to press OK and you're going to press OK one more time. And when I did that, you may or may not have noticed that the item down here disappeared, but the flag stayed. So now you can continue to flag your emails without them interfering with your task list. I hope you have enjoyed this productivity pointer brought to you by Organized Audrey, where our goal is to help you get more done with less stress. Make it a great day.